hi people. Um, yeah, this is kind of a little bit of a different slant on what I would normally talk about. Um, I, yeah, my diagnoses are, um, borderline personality disorder in, or what is now called emotionally unstable personality disorder, anorexia nervosa, um, PTSD, and depression, and oh god, the list goes on. But I used to have, going back a couple of years, really severe problem with self-injury. Um, I say a couple of years, it's been going on, I'm nearly 40, it's been going on since I was 16, 17. And I know you can't see, but my arms and even upper arms are like covered in we can't see. You might be able to see. They're covered in scars. Um, I got scars everywhere. Stomach, legs, the whole lot. And the worst one, which I have to show you, which does involve me doing a little bit of a Oh yeah, I'm in night clothes again. Um, uh, was this one on my leg? Um, hang on. It's there. Oh God. No, the light's not right. No one's going to be able to see it. I don't think. No, it's not. It's not happening. That I tried. Um, I went through a stage of severe self injury, and it wasn't until the anorexia really kicked in yet again that I stopped because the self injury was. Um, ooh, word, need a word, was projected, was, the anorexia replaced, once I got to the point I needed back with the anorexia, I didn't need the self-injury anymore, like physically. And weirdly, the thought now of self-injury, a lot of them are, well, they're all burns and cuts. Cigarette burns and cuts. Um, and I said the one on my leg that I was trying to show you guys, um, not because it's not, not, I mean, it's been healed a long time now. It took a long time to heal. Um. But I'll show you, I've got down here, and the reason I've got it is because I'm about to sort it out. I've got a box, and I even labels it self-harm supplies. And in this box, I've got various things that the hospital gave me, sprays, creams, bandages, these special dressings, everything to, yeah. Um, and I spent a long time until I got into the point where the anorexia had gotten me enough that the self-harm was coming back by having the anorexia but 
there is, I mean, we went through a stage a couple of years ago where I was at the walk-in hospital two, three times a week, every week, to have my dressings rechanged or to have something stitched or butterfly stitched or whatever. Um, yeah, the really weird thing is that now, when I think about it, I could no more take a razor to my body or a cigarette. To me now, that's like, oh my God, that is crazy. How could I do that? It's not crazy. I don't mean that as an insult to anyone who does that. What I mean is, personally... At the time, it served its purpose, but thinking about doing that right now is like, oh my god, I just wouldn't. Um, yeah, as I've just shown you, I got a whole box of stuff accumulated for for that outcome, and um, yeah. It's, see, I guess, what I'm trying to say is, like, and again, I, I realise that some people have anorexia or eating disorders or disordered eating, and maybe that's, like, it. And again, that is not saying that, oh, you've only got that, that's it. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that because of the personality disorders that I have, that the minute someone takes control from me, regardless of what area it might come from, I resort to another area to compensate for what's been taken from me. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody will understand that. Um, because right now, because I'm, I don't know how to put, I don't know how to put it, um, because right now, I'm doing what I need to do to, like I said in my last video, to not lose weight, but not gain weight, then it's okay. I don't need to resort to self-injury or blah, 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 blah. Because I'm in control of what I'm doing. Um... But, and the reason the box is out, and the reason I'm doing this video, is partly because the box of that stuff that I've just showed you is clustering at my cupboards, and I don't like the fact that it's been labelled SJ self-injury supplies, because it's like, well, I don't self-injure anymore. So, I need to sort the box out. But, and secondly, because there's no room in my cupboard, because that's also where I keep my bin liners and my foil and my, you know, things like that. And the box is taking up too much space. And I don't need the box like I needed it a couple of years ago, where I did need to change my dressings daily and spray the special sprays on that the hospital gave me and do all that. I don't need to do that anymore because of not doing that behaviour. Um, but weirdly, it now seems like alien to me that I was able to do that to myself. And regardless of, as I say, I know you guys, and I'm glad in a way that you can't see the, the scarring and the, the, 
you know, incisions and the burns and everything, which I can clearly see everywhere. Um, it's now like that that was another person. That's me, but it's another me that did these things to myself. I don't know. Life is so strange. Um, it's just so bloody fucking strange. Anyway, I'm gonna go, but I, yeah. Again, um, what I'm trying to clarify is that I know of people with straightforward anorexia or straightforward this, that, the other. But when, sorry, I'm rearranging my hot water bottle because it's like, oh, actually, it's very fresh, new one, so it's like really hot. Um, but when you've got what they call comorbid or um multiple diagnos diagnoses mm. um it becomes a little bit more difficult because you're not just a straightforward anorexic you're not a straightforward bulimic you're not a straightforward that, that, that. It's like, no, it goes from that to that to that to that, then back to that, then back to that, then back to that. And it's kind of a, a conundrum of, of repetitive, destructive behaviours. And, um, yeah, I'll leave anyone's comment on that. Because maybe you can, like, maybe that resonates with some of you guys as well. Um, we know when I say guys, I mean guys and girls, but guys, you know, it's guys. Um, and how, from one year to the next, you can't understand your own self. Because you think, well, how could I have done that and that and that? When now, I... I I couldn't think twice about doing that because I'd never do that now. But then a year from now, I might be stood here going, right, okay, well, I've got bandages there. I've got, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, try, I, I tried to saw my goddamn leg off. Well, the lower part of it. Um, a couple of years ago. And it's like, now when I think about it, I think I tried to do that to myself which is crazy now to me but it wasn't crazy at the time it was perfectly logical anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and um thank you all for thank you for comments etc and um please all take care love you blades all of you Cheers. Good night.